Hey guys, I feel honored to be part of you today. So what you're seeing there, that assembly there, is the one that you're going, we're going to be doing today. So first of all, I've put each part of the assembly in different materials so that you guys can know how you're going to do it so that you can see the difference between each of the parts. So for you to start an assembly, what you need to do is you need first new, you need to go first on new and then you go assembly the assembly standard millimeter because the parts are in millimeters then you go create after that you need to go there on top left side of your screen and then you choose place and then you need to make sure that all the parts that you have are in one file that is the file so i'm going to check i'm going to take that one that one this one that one and that one so I'm going to put them here, as you can see, DMB, I click, I left and click on my mouse, V, and then after that, I go escape. Then here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first ground that part D. For you to ground the part, you need to go on the part, and then you right click, and then you choose the ground it. So when you ground it, it means it can't move. This can move, all these other parts can move i mean sorry this can move all these other parts can move that can move this can move but the grounded parts can't move so then i come here what i'm gonna do is i go and constrain then i choose what one of the constraints that i want to use in this case i want to use mates i go on mate then after that i choose the part that i want to be made to with another part, that one I want it to be made with this part D. So there we go. So don't mind the way this place D. So we're gonna give it. Then I say apply. Then after that's so what I go, I go mate again. Then I choose that axis D. I want it. I want it to I want it to be made with this one here. Yeah okay there you can see it made and then i say apply so we can see i've already put that one there so after that what i'm gonna do is i need them i go mate okay so i go mate i want this part to be made with that one so you can see it already made and then i say apply after that i want this spot here to be at the same level at that spot so if i want them to be at the same level i go there where it is and flash i click there i say this spot need to be flash with that spot then flash i say apply so now you can see how my component is like so far then after that what i do is what i do is i put this other part so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go v then i say that one need to be me made with that one so apply after that what I'm gonna do is, I say again, that one, this need to be made with that, apply, you can see there, so now I want that one to be at the same level as that one, I say flash, that one need to be flash with that one, I say apply, okay, so now everything, so I was saying, after Putting everything in mate V, you can see you have your sample V. So I need to put the bolt. So you can see the bolts are missing, and one nut is missing. So now I'm gonna go again there on place, place there. Sorry. Then I come here. I select bolt. I select nut. Then I say open. I put that one V. Since I need another bolt, I put that one V. Then I say escape. I don't need you. So that's when I can delete it. I delete it. And now, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put inmate default so I'm gonna constrain they I say inmate so that one need to be inmates with this one all right so I say apply but now what I need I need that part of the bolt the to be in with that surface day then I say apply you can see now you can see now then I come again I say this one need to be in it with uh, that one okay I say apply since I want the head of the ball to be this side what I do is I turn it around then I come there I zoom it in to get enough because you know there and then I come here, I say in with this one, and then I say apply. So that now you have your assembly without the nuts. So now what you're gonna do is you go on mate again, you click on the axis, you come here, you click on this axis. So it in made this side as well. But now what you need is you say apply. So this part here. Need to be in made with that port D. So you see, up like you can see, my bot has turned that is out from port D. So be in made with. So what I was saying is, let me just put it simple for me. So that one there, I need to constraint. I go in constraint and go in mate. I go in mate, sorry, not in mate. <laughs> then I go the that port D need to be made with that port D. I say apply. I go on mate again. So that axis need to be if made with that axis, then I say apply. Then after that I say close. Now you can see how your assembly looks like. So everything is done the way that you wanted it to be done. So you can see the cross that cross height is the same as this cross height. So now I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So if you haven't subscribed, please I'm gonna ask you to subscribe and uh if you feel like sharing please share this video don't forget to like if you like it that will make me happy as well will make me uh, uh go forward and doing more videos for you and other people so thank you so much for now take care of yourself and see you for the next video so don't forget to subscribe as i said because you're gonna be sharing a lot of things a lot of things on this channel so yeah i hope that uh i'm gonna see you next time so bye for now take care cheers